So what it tells us about our now normal and the awesome responsibility that each of you have, especially in this industry, is to understand May 26, 1996. Now, I want you to, to think about where were you on May 26, 1996? Does anyone know? I don't know. If you don't know, say, I don't know. If you don't know, say, I don't know. One more time. If you don't know, say, I don't know. You wouldn't know where you were on May 26, 1996 unless it was attached to a special moment. You have a picture of it in your phone. Or was a memory that was created. Think about this. It would, you wouldn't know unless there was emotion attached to the date, to the time, to the impact. So think about the notion of being present. I want you to take out your cell phone, and I want you to text a friend and ask them this question. Don't give them the context. Don't give them the narrative. Just ask them the simple question. Text me a picture of your favorite moment with me. Text that to someone now. Text that to someone now. Get on your phones. Text, that to, text me a picture of your favorite memory with me. Text that. And you're going to get a response back that so powerfully connects their moment, their impact, the, the, the gravity of the time, the special nature of the celebration, the honor of your presence in that moment. You're going to get something back so powerful from your friends that commemorates the impact that you have in their life or a colleague in their business. Anyone get their picture back? Right. Come here. Right here. Come here. Come here. Give her a hand. Come here. Come here. Give her a hand. Tell us about the picture that you got back really quick. One, one. Tell us about the picture that you got back. I got three pictures from my son. Okay. Tell us about them. Um, I'm going to get emotional. Hang on. It's okay. We got you. We got you. <laughs> New phone. It's okay. Okay. Go to your uh, pictures. Yeah, right there. Here. there you go. Okay. Down from your son. Okay. So the question was, text me a picture of your favorite memory with me. And this is from your son. Yeah. Okay. So family picture when he was about nine. He's 26. And it's college graduation. Family photo. So, and that's just him. That's him. It, that's <laughs> awesome. Hey, that's I just awesome. think I'm going to Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Never forget that it's bigger than you. There's someone holding on to something that you did for them that they'll never forget. A memory that even 17 years later, they still hold in their heart. That picture that you got back. Remind yourself of your impact. It reminds you. In this now normal, we have to show up extraordinary. Because what you do is not just take a picture. You help people to capture, live, and extend life. That's so powerful when you do. And it will allow you to see moments that matter because you were there. Because someone took that picture of that graduation. Because they were there. Because someone stopped and said, let me take this picture for you. I know you're on vacation, and that's the only picture they have from vacation. And now they treasure it forever because of you. So know that you're not just an instrument, as that picture says. You're an amplifier. You're an amplifier. You're not just an instrument. You are an amplifier. And what you do matters. And we're so awesomely grateful. So on behalf of all those people who never, ever get a chance to tell you thank you for the image that you created for their life, captured for their life, I'm going to thank you. I'm going to thank you for all those people, for all those memories that you created because of your heart, because of your eyesight, because of your vision. And they may never get a chance to come back and tell you thank you. And for those that got a picture back, now you have your thank you. Not just instrument, you're an amplifier. 